stupid fish, get out of the and bite off you, stupid stupid. Call yourself a fing muscle, do you? Yeah. Off you, stupid. <laughs> you fish, give me the stick, the whole fing lot of you. And clattering up me and lounge from and zebras and everywhere. A small wheel for no apparent reason. <laughs> Joanne Peake? Yes? Sorry, love. Someone really hates you. <laughs> Say it with spiders. From Interfauna. The following film contains coarse language, adult themes, frequent violence, and scenes of a sexually explicit nature. Excuse me, Miss Binney. My father's a bisexual smack addict. Very well, Bert. Now, Reg, are we ready to move on with the bribery scandal? Well, not really. I don't think we've even scratched the surface. Mm. Yes, Wayne. <laughs> Listen, why don't we put Philip on to it, see what he can uncover? Good, all right. <laughs> Philip? What the f do you want? Can you move on to the Lebeau inquiry? Sure, no <laughs> problem. <laughs> Miss Binney, I'm a Satanist. Thank you, Bert. And uh, what are we doing about the chemical spill? Well, we're running that piece from Lisa plus a follow-on tomorrow. <laughs> well, I think that's about it. <clears throat> I'm Reg. Can I be of any help? I'm looking for Mr. Roger. Well, that's me. So, shall we go and, um, and have a coffee? Are you sure you just want a coffee? Philip! <laughs> Yeah, no worries. <laughs> that hurt. Keep talking to her, keep her calm. Can you hear me, little girl? You realise you're probably going to die in there, don't you? Dalton, <laughs> where's that bloody string quartet? <laughs> I saw a guy get pulled out of a drain pipe once. He turned bright purple, and the rats were eating his feet off. <laughs> Robinson's pile ointment. He's been around the world a couple of times, or maybe. Oh, well, welcome to Bert's backyard. Well, a couple of weeks ago, I got a letter from Mr. Frederick West of 25 Cromwell Street, who pleaded with me to come and have a look at his backyard. Now, Frederick assures us we won't be disappointed. So, here we are. Let's go and meet him. <laughs> so, Frederick West, how are you? Hi, Don. We haven't caught you at a bad time, have we? Nah, not at all. Another one here, Sarge. So, how have you been achieving these good results? I think your choice of fertiliser is the key to a successful garden, Don. Right, and what sort of fertilizer have you been using? Blood and bone. <laughs> so, Mrs. Uh, Mrs. West, is, is uh, she a keen gardener? Uh, the current one is, yes. <laughs> oh, I do beg your pardon. You've remarried. Thirteen times, Don. Thirteen? Oh, goodness me, what was the problem? The others not keen gardeners? <laughs> no. No, they really enjoyed being in the garden. 
Franklin Mint announces a heartwarming new range of collectible porcelain figurines. Say hello to Sacrificial Stevie, the first in the adorable Satanic Scallywag series. You'll adore every detail of Sacrificial Stevie, from his talismans of ancient evil to the sacred dagger. He is just about to plunge into the heart of the consecrated goat, Corky. Order Sacrificial Stevie today, and we'll send you Heretic Helen, free of charge. Maddened by the fumes of her evil brew, she is ready to give way to unnatural lusts. Why not share them with someone you love? Satanic Scallywags captures all the delightful mischief of children at play. But order now, because this unique offer is strictly limited to an exclusive edition of just 53 million. Good night. Like a flag you've seen starfish That sings karaoke Like the cheeky gorilla That farts in the rain him everything. There's nothing left. He just won't stop. Not quite a minute. Oh, mate, no, you can't. There's innocent women and children around. Don't. Do you want to stop John Denver or not? We all want to stop him. Most people I know Good evening. Good evening. And welcome to the Australian Butchers Theatre. Well, Christmas is nearly here. That's right. So we're proud to stage our annual production of The Nativity. Performed entirely by pieces of meat. Joseph, I've just given birth to the baby Jesus. Wah, wah, wah! <laughs> Say, Mary. <laughs> he is truly the Son of God. Look how three wise men from far off lands come to adore him. We three kings come bearing <laughs> gifts to the little baby Jesus. Mm. And what gifts do you bring, our noble travellers? Gold, frankincense, mince topside, three ninety nine per kilo. Stewing steak, six ninety nine per kilo. Oh, lovely. Mary, what is this ethereal light that doth enfold us? Behold, it is the angle of the Lord. No, no. <laughs> but his Mary it is a whole host of angles. Mm. They are coming in their hundreds to celebrate the birth of the baby Jesus and sing Halegula. Yes, a huge heavenly choir. <laughs> Hallelujah. But you can't guess what I've been eating. <sighs> Avery coming in around about 3 30. So, uh, how about you come in about 5? Okay, thanks, Mrs. Wilson. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, this is Billy. So what can we do for you today? Oh dear, you've got a bit of an intestinal problem, I see. Oh, well, it's looking very out of condition. So what I suggest we do is we just take a little bit of length off and maybe do some layering up the top. What do you think, Crystal? <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, have you read any good books recently? I haven't. I tried a new toothpaste last night, though. That was really yummy. <laughs> String's a handy thing to have, isn't it? Have you got to wear the good house? Oh, God, I love crumpets. So, are you seeing another surgeon, Mrs. Billings? Because someone has done a shocking job on your colon. Now, don't tell me you've been operating on yourself again. Oh, my goodness, look at these ends. They're terribly naked. What? Ow. <laughs> We present our highly regarded production of the famous West Craven film, Nightmare on Elm Street. Thank you. <laughs>